Yo, what is happening YouTube and today's video I wanted to go ahead and address a question that I get pretty often actually and that is alternatives to the build I use but build kind of does the same thing and what I mean by that is a lot of people like the build I have they like they like Marta, they like whispers they like the way it works of knowing when you should be crouched because it's you know efficiency blah 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 but I also get a lot of feedback that people don't like whispers for whatever reason. I think it's fantastic, as you know. I think it's one of the best killer perks in the game, as you know. But I hear a lot of feedback about people that don't want to use it, don't know how to use it. And while there's hundreds of whispers guides out on YouTube, I could do one if you wanted. Instead, I wanted to show you some other builds that do the exact same thing. You know, like an alternative to whispers. So I've got with this one right now. I've got Barbecue and Lethal Pursuer. Both of these two perks effectively do the same thing as Whispers and m and Lethal Pursuer is the start of the game. You know exactly where to go. You know exactly which gen to go to. And then you crouch, you know, with sufficient distance. Blah, blah, blah. You can get the idea. And then Barbecue is for the rest of the game. You hook someone. You now know exactly which gen to go to. And then crouch. And then do the same thing. And then Enduring, I, it's a similar build. Like I said, I, I can't imagine playing Pig without this, but you do you. You could very much make this Ruin and Undying, although I'd hate you, but you could. Uh, and I went with Enduring and Amal Liz, because I just think Amal Liz is insane on Pig in chasing. It's just, it's such a good chase perk. I, I can't stress enough how great this is on Pig. Like, it's one of her best perks. Uh, a question I already know I'm going to see in the comment section is why am I using Enduring over Brutal Strength? I don't think Brutal Strength is actually very good on Pig. I've said this quite a few times. Not entirely sure if I've said it on YouTube yet, but I'm going to say it again. I don't think Brutal's actually that good of a perk. It's a comfort perk. It's a feel-good perk. I use it because I'm addicted. I don't use it because I think it's actually any good. I'm aware that Brutal is not a very good perk. Anyway, I, the point is, Brutal buys you about 0.2 of a second every pallet kick. Default is 2.6, I believe, 2.7, and Enduring, and uh, Brutal, sorry, makes it about 2.5, 2.4, around that sort of time. So it's about 0.2 of a second per pallet that Brutal gives you, whereas Enduring... A, allows you to be more aggressive around pallets. So you'd have the ability to now not respect pallets and not get punished for it, which allows you to down many more people. You can be much more aggressive. And on top of that, you also get a second off of your stun every time. One second versus 0.2 of a second. Yeah, there's a reason why I use Enduring over Brutal. And then the Combat Strap, Shad Syringe. Uh, you could very easily run instead. We could run Last Will and, uh, I don't know, an Annotated Plan. We could try that. I might do two games, actually, and do the first game as a Combat and the second game as a Last Will. Yeah, let's do that. We can we can do that. Show the build. It works both ways. Uh, yeah, so let's try this out. I want to show you how it works. Uh, it's, very, it's a very different way of playing Pig, and yet you're getting the same thing out of it. Not knowing completely if they can hear you, you've got to crouch a bit earlier. You, you'll see. But for now, let's get into it. Roading Storehouse. We actually start off with a really tough map as well. I just wanted to do this video because I get a lot of this question, alternatives to my build, that are sort of the same thing but different. Ooh, all of them are over there. So we've got that gen. Yeah, that one's the main priority. I can actually get a gen grab here, I think, as well. I crouch about now. That's about the not quite. It's a bit more than 32 meters, but it's enough of a distance where they shouldn't hit the heartbeat. Could theoretically get a gen grab here if they don't see me sneak around the back. Get a gen grab here. Unlucky. I thought she was on the right hand side, but she moved to the middle. Messed up a bit too early. Eight bolting. Yeah, lethal pursuit is a tricky one because it's like really good information, but we now also don't have that perk for the rest of the game. Although I will say that felt like the longest nine seconds of information I think I've ever had. 
I didn't think it was going to end. Just kept going. I'm going to drop chase on her. I really don't feel like a building chase straight away. Although, I feel like... Quite quick, Jen. I feel like I'm going to have to just... Yeah, I've got no choice, do I? Really, really awful map, to be honest. Start off with, but... I suppose it's a good test of the build. I don't think this Kate is even remotely checking where I am. It's also not Kate, it's a Nancy, but I also don't think she's remotely looking at where I am. I think she's just... Oh, she did look... Oh, uh, never mind. No, she didn't. She She's just kind of running on memory. It, it feels like this just, just... It feels like that's how she runs every killer. Pretty quick chase, to be honest. And we got Shack Pallet immediately. I never understand the survivor's mentality of just go to Shack and waste it. I'd literally die for that pallet. I would never, ever drop that before one gen. Now, barbecue means we know exactly where they are. We can go and sneak up on this gen now. Out there, you got a crouch. So the thing with this build, because you haven't got m &A, you have to crouch a bit earlier. Which did, in turn, mean I lost that gen from it. The good news is I I'm, I'm still quietly confident about this game because no one's particularly done anything that's really impressed me yet. So... I'm still feeling pretty confident this is in it being a 4K. Especially since we're now getting helmets out, so there's we're not losing the gen for a while now. We should hold this at two gens, I think, for at least another seven or eight hooks. Well, more five or six hooks, I reckon. Point is, is they shouldn't get another gen for a while. Nancy got her helmet off in the shack first try, though, which is really, really irritating. Really, really irritating. And she's dead harding for the wrong pallet. You know, you've got dead hard for distance. You could have very easily have made that pallet in the much safer tile and you chose not to. Pretty stupid of you. You know, <clears throat> I recently switched to evening streaming. I now have ch I've changed my stream schedule completely. I now stream in the evenings, and it baffles me. You know what? It staggers me just how much worse players are in the evenings compared to during the day. So I'm recording this. I'm recording this at about four o'clock in the afternoon. It staggers me how much better these players are than players that I'd get in the evening. Like they're so so much better. Even these players, I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't say they're brilliant, but they, these players are so, so, so much better than the players I was getting in the evening. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's night and day, a night and day difference. And at this point, someone's go, yeah, well, you should play with crossplay off. And it's like, not really. I'm kind of here giving you the general experience of this game. If I turn off crossplay and sweat, that's not really an accurate representation of how DVD actually is for people like you. Because the vast majority of you, especially this channel, couldn't care less about sweating for a 4K. It's kind of why I do what I do. So the vast majority of you lot aren't going to care if I've got crossplay on or off. And the vast majority of people have crossplay on, so like. Right, so hooking Feng here now means we've got a lockdown situation. Where I can effectively wait here and there's nothing they can do about Nancy. She's probably gonna die. So I actually have no reason to leave. I'm not gonna leave. I, I have straight up no reason to leave. 
until Nancy dies, which she now has. So now we can leave. That's what I mean. That situation there, just because of where I hooked the Fang, completely changed the game. I can see the other person sneaking away. I can get a borrowed time hit. I'm going to do it. There isn't borrowed time. I'll get D-Strike out of the way then, because 3D. I love me some D. This is what I mean. So, like, it looked like we were screwed earlier, but just because of helmets, we're now not. As Pig in a nutshell. Really very much a mid-game killer. And I think bringing perks like this that strengthen your chase and strengthen your middle... Well, I say strengthen your middle game. Strengthening your weaknesses as Pig really ends up making a big difference. Dead on that hook. That, that chain's still regressing as well. Oh, very nice. And we've got ourselves a semi-3 gen here as well. Wow, more like a 4 gen. And I can see those two. Gonna crouch now, no reason not to. This build actually kind of works. I've not tried this build before yet, but I just know what these perks do, obviously. So I know it's like a pseudo MA whispers. It actually kind of works. I really, really feel like this works. This is actually a really nice alternative to the build I use. There you are. You don't really need to use m &A and Whispers. I mean, I prefer those two. I think it's more reliable information. Because, I mean, there's no perk in the game that counts as Whispers, whereas any one of these guys could theoretically... Ooh, that didn't hit? Really, behavior? Any one of these guys could theoretically have a perk that cancels out my perks. They don't. But they could. And then the entire build's worthless. I think it's more reliable, but Whispers takes a hell of a lot more effort. So if you're a newer player, then this is a much nicer build for you. Mm, but the other side of that is it steals C perks. If you're a newer player, then I don't know what you're going to do, because, I mean, this is hillbilly, a hillbilly perk. I mean, I don't even know who has Lethal Pursuit at this point. I don't even pay attention to this game anymore. I think it's a Nemesis perk, right? Nemesis, Billy, Ghostface, Bubba, like four different teachables on Pig. It's a lot of effort, so... More an alternative to a new player build, I think, unless you, as a new player, somehow have these perks. You at least have Barbecue, so you could definitely make Barbecue work. And, I mean... In like barbecue enduring is a free perk, so you can you can make it work. Person decides to do a gen rather than save, and then this person decides to dead hard. What is happening? God, I'm all is is so good. I love it. Love it. Every single person's death hook now. I don't think this Kate's dead and hook. Could be. Oh. Yes, yeah, so everyone's death hook now. Interesting thing about Pig, which you... If you've watched my guide, you'll know, but the heartbeat size doesn't impact the speed of which it fades. A 20... A 32 meter heartbeat and a 24 meter heartbeat, which are the two, you know, with or without m &A. They are both going to fade over the same amount of time. They both take four seconds. It doesn't matter that the heartbeat starts at a smaller place. Even though it's 28 and not... Th I keep saying 28. Even though it's 24 and not 32, it's still going to take four seconds to fade. Something to keep in mind. Not got a key, do you? Why are you ignoring that tile? That tile is literally going to save you. These survivors are still not brilliant, are they? That tile would have saved you. The main building would have saved you, and you ran past all of it. We now can see where they both are. We know that gen in the back is going to be worked on. Not much point in kicking that gen. Not worth it. Just a waste of time. Going to crouch right about now. Now I sneak around the back and go for a gen grab. Again. 
Well, no, I don't actually. We do that instead because they're both injured. Now I go for the Nancy. Bet you guys were doubtful of this game when you saw we lose, uh, saw me lose three gens that quickly. But there you are, mid-game killer. My pallet's down. Interesting. And then Nancy ran straight past it and didn't play it out at all, even though it's pulled down and therefore completely safe to play out. Again, interesting. Some decision making this round has not been brilliant. It's not been brilliant. There you are. That's that's the game. Adrenaline, oh my god. It's a shame I've already closed the hatch. Wait, are you actually gonna, like, try and outplay me and think you can get the gate? Can't get the exit gate. What are you doing? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, this is cute, but I'm still not going to let you live. <laughs> oh my god, Max sacrificed that, that game. That was a hell of a game. Hell of a game in the end. Oh, dearie as well. Jesus. And there was a brand new part. That explains the generator that popped immediately. I did wonder how that gen got turned on so quickly. Brand new part. I got 8k points. I already don't know how. Oh, because I went to second stage. Right, they went to second stage. Full meta builds from everybody. Not everyone, but... Meta builds... Better build, better build. Oh my god. Right, next game. I actually am going to play with different, uh, with Last Will and that this round. Just to show you some pig gameplay without combat strap. Because a lot of people tell me that you need combat strap to crouch with pig. You really don't. You really don't. I'm going to show you. Although we do have five helmets and five boxes, but honestly, I could go without them and it would still be the same outcome. But I'll, I'll, I'll run these add-ons for the sake of using add-ons. Anyway, next round. Thompson House. Not bad. Don't hate this map. Can have some nasty RNG, but... Name a DBD map that doesn't. But so they've spawned by those two gens. There's someone that appears to be AFK as well. I'm gonna crouch because I'm near them. Well, they're not AFK anymore. Guy on the right thinks I've not seen him. Okay, free hit. Should break it. Don't have time to. Just gonna commit to the chase. Right, so they're the three gens we're losing. Good to know. Three down. Little moonwalk to make him cut back. Means I can hit him. And, well, we now know what gens being worked on because they've had a skill check. We're losing the one on the right and the one on my left. Yep. Let's go for it. We might be able to get there in time. Probably not, but we could. 32 meters is about now, so crouch. No, no chance. But it is a guaranteed chase. Oh, I can stop this one turning on, though. That's fine. 
That works just as well. Do you know what? I honestly thought that was a Meg the entire time. God, I'm All Ears is such a nice perk. Such a nice perk. Completely free down on the arena. Who's that? Yeah, and they're the two gens we lose. Okay, good to know. And now we just sort of hold it like this. Please tell me there's no pallet here. I hate this game so much. I can hold him here, though. Not necessarily trying to catch him, but holding him here to allow the other guy to die on hook. Wait, why are you running this way? There's no pallet here. Oh, you've just figured it out. Go back to the hook. I reckon there's a save. Yeah, they are. Yep, there they are. There they are. There's the save coming in. Crouch and take back. What are they doing? Free hit. And that's a free hit. Test borrow time. Let's get this guy second stage. Nia realized I was grabbing him way too late. I can't get the flashlight save out. Gonna aggressively fake that way, make her revolt the window. Nia held down that sneaky W key. Goddamn sneaky. Dead hard. Yep, she's console. <laughs> this game is such a mess. This game is such a mess. That good old console dead hard. Honestly, not even sure why you'd use dead hard on a console. I don't know why you still use it. Yeah, what I waited. Make her fake the window. Gotta drop it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Claudette? You gotta drop that. You gotta drop it. I can respect you not dropping it, because, I mean, I, I would die for Shat Palette, but I'm a rare breed. I would literally die for Shaq Pallet, so... I can understand her reasoning. You are not unhooking her. Oh, what are you doing? Nia has a flashlight. Ah, uh, let's just pick her up, I'm not scared. Nia blew the gen up. Not the gen, the saw box, she knows. You know, at this rate, I'm not going to use my fifth helmet because I can't trap. Really? I can't trap the, the top guy. God knows his name. But I can't trap him because he's death hook. So there's no need. The only person not death hook right now is Lordette and Nia. But I mean, Nia is about to be death hook. I just outplayed her by vaulting the window twice and she's not got dead hard. So. Well, Dad, you better hope and better hurry up and remove your helmet, because I'm gonna need to put it in your head. You're the only person that can actually wear this helmet now. I don't know who I'm tracking. I'm tracking someone. It's Claudette. We're gonna ignore Claudette. Get this guy out of the game. He's the only one that's actively progressing the game right now. Let's get him out. Zarina's dead as well. Let's get her out. 
I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Oh, I was hoping she'd loop the jungle gym, not just abandon it. You W King. You W King? I think you're W King. You are W King. I gotta break this part. I have to break it. I absolutely have to break it. Okay then. But I'm still gonna break it. And now we find Claudette because I'm gonna put a fifth helmet on her. Barbecue tells me that Jen's being worked on, so we're gonna go and sneak over there. Crouch about now. That's the downside, you gotta crouch much, much earlier. Probably not that early, but earlier. He is death hook. Claudette gets another helmet. She came for the flashlight save, no way. Blind me. I'm wearing headphones. That was a really nice dash as well. No way. God, a fifth, a, a fifth helmet almost feels like cheating. It's it's oh good. I know it did nothing that round, but think of the extra pressure I could have had if that was going south. It almost feels like cheating. I love it. Okay. There you are. You said the build works. I actually quite like this build. I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. It's definitely an alternative to the to the build I use. It's a, sort of the same results, but different perks kind of thing, which I quite like. If that's your thing, then I mean, I definitely use this build actually. It's quite, quite different to the one I've got, isn't it really? It's is quite different. Oh my God, nearly a perfect game as well. It is quite different. Oh, wow, and they were serious as well. They had full-on brand new parts and... Wow. Two, three dead hards, a lithe. Two D strikes. Serious squad, red ranks fully, pretty much. I mean, these guys are red ranks. Yeah, I mean, it's a good build. I quite like it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what killer and what build you want next. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying Pig right now. I know I may know, but you know what I mean. Tempted to do another pig video next week, but I also really want to try out some other killers with these builds as well. But let me know what you want. Let me know what you want. I've also got to do a rant video on, well, let's call it a discussion video on DVD, on, on perks, on, on maps, on killers. Let's call it a discussion video. A lot of things I want to do with YouTube right now, and it's exciting. I like it, but thank you for being here. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and be around for the next one. I'll catch you next time, everybody. Later.